a little different game tonight. Obviously, score different, score was different, but um, you know we just weren't as weren't as sharp tonight, weren't as competitive. Uh, fell behind early again. You know, second day in a row makes it tough. Um, you know, coming back against the pitching that they have. So uh, we got to find a way to get off to better starts. But they jumped on us early. We had a couple defensive mistakes out there that cost us again. Um, and, and against a team like that, or really any team, you can't can't give them extra outs. And you know, we did that one of the innings. So. Overall, we just got to play better, you know, be sharper. And um, offensively, we, you know, we showed signs, but we, we didn't hit well with runners in scoring position. But we got guys on. We put up some pretty good at-bats. Um, but but overall, just we weren't quite as sharp and crisp as we were last as we were last night. And, you know, I thought they they had something to say about that as well. Fleming threw the ball really well, and they got some big hits. Yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about those first three innings? I know that um... – Sebastian Keene is a super strong pitcher, um, but how do you think that he can work in the future and like the game tomorrow to keep the pitch count down in those first few innings? Yeah, we, we you know, we, maybe we got to make some adjustments there, but <clears throat> we got to be better in the first inning. We got to come out and, um, you know, you can't really ease your way into a game um, and think that you're going to, you know, have maybe have that mindset of I'm going set worrying about the fifth, sixth, seventh inning. Like we got to start winning the first inning and, and putting up a zero. So, uh, maybe it's just changing a little bit of how we prep pregame and being ready to go in that first inning, uh, you know, and try to get off to a better start because definitely don't want to be, you know, constantly playing from behind. And I know it's only two games in. I'm not, you know, I'm not panicking or anything, but it does make it tough to, to, to you know, constantly be, you know, playing behind two, three, four runs. What did you think about the bullpen today? I mean, you know, aside from those, yeah, the first three innings where you know, a, lot of, a lot of runs came along, it seemed like they were really strong. Yeah, it was pretty good. You know, we got some guys in, um, you know, it, we, we walked a couple too many guys, you know, and you can't come out of the bullpen and walk guys. We walked a couple of runs in and had a couple other walks there later in the game. So we got to be a little better with that. But overall, I thought we got some good innings out of Steele and Baroni pitched really well. James Quinlan made his first, you know, collegiate appearance. So it was good to see him get in there. Um, I think he'll only get better. Uh, Giggs pitched well there at the end. Um, so, you know, overall, we still got to, we got to, we got to pound the zone more and, and limit those free bases coming out of the bullpen. But it's early in the season, and it was good to get some guys in as well and see them perform. And so what do you think that you're going to, like, take away from these past two games going into tomorrow? Well, just I think we just really got to focus on being getting better every day um, and focus on the positives and learn from the mistakes. Again, we just got to – I think I'd really like to see our defense tighten up a little better. Um, and again, limit limit the extra outs for those guys that are offensively. They're just too strong to to be to be doing that. So just keep getting better, getting accustomed to being back out on the field, being in a competitive environment like we've been in. And you know, on the mound, it's, it, I think um, you know, just continue to work over the plate, throw throw more strikes, be more in, in attack mode, and and get, getting getting back out there and, and getting that heart rate going in a competitive environment. And then offensively. Um, you know, tonight we got the guys on, as I mentioned, we just, with runners in scoring position or just runners on, we didn't really control the at-bats. We, we let we let their pitching staff control it. So just learn from that. You know, it was a big difference from yesterday and today from an offensive standpoint with runners in scoring position. So um, tip your cap to their pitchers tonight. They did a really good job and had us, you know, sort of playing defense when we had runners in scoring position. And so tomorrow we got to kind of just take everything we learned from these first two games, improve upon, everything we're gonna to have to play our best game tomorrow no question last question for me coach you said that you'd like to improve defensively what effect does the uh the astroturf down there have on the ball and on like the defense in general is, it, is there any change there no nah, it's fine you know it's a little quicker than ours um obviously we play a turf at home at friedman diamond so we're used to that, but it, it, it's slightly quicker, but really hasn't had any effect that, you know, I think sometimes early in the season when we play on dirt and grass, that, that's a much bigger effect because we just haven't been on it and not used to it. But this really hasn't been an issue at all. Um, it's great surface, great, great place to play. Um, and, and again, I think it's for us, it's really just, it's, we're, we're going to be awesome defensively. I have no doubt about that. Um, it's just right now, it's just getting up to game speed and having more confidence um, out there in those situations and, and that's going to you know continue to build and build so um, I'm, I'm not I'm not worried about the defense I just want us to play better <laughs> that's all